What's up, what's up, train world? It's your boy Boing's back at it again. Today I'm making a stop at Train Town Toys and Hobby. I'm coming here. First of all, I had to go see my friend Larry and check out a few things. But um, I met a guy at the last train show I was at. And um, I took my, um, my um, New York Central Mohawk because I wanted to find out what was wrong with it. So the guy who does the repairs, this is the spot that he works out of. So it's gonna be my first time going in here. So let's check it out. Okay, we inside. This is the first time I'm coming in this store, but um, it's, it's beautiful. Thank God I didn't bring no money with me because I would leave and my mortgage wouldn't get paid. So this is, this is, oh man. They got beautiful prices too. Whoa, okay. Okay, you got the daylighter. Oh, this is an 027. I have the Crescent. This Pennsylvania is nice. Got this GG1. They got some nice stuff here. Okay. I'm gonna check out the prices. Okay. That's nice. This is nice. A nice chessy right there. Steam engines okay. are so technical. There's so many little parts that go in and out and can't really $2.99 for this. I don't know. Let me see what it is. It's a Williams. I'm coming to the back and look at a few of the houses. This is a nice passenger station. I think the price is $1.89 for that. Okay. And they got the fast tracks down here. This is a beautiful movie theater. Let me see who makes it. Um, gold line, two forty nine. No, I can't do that. They got some Menard stuff here. Yeah, but you know, two nineteen. When you you know, y'all know what it costs at the Menards. A lot of people just don't like the order stuff. This Union Station is nice. Um, $89, $89. Not bad. It's beautiful, too. I like this. That's nice. Let me give you a better shot of it. That's nice. I, I would like that. So let's go back here and see what's back here. And the cut. We got them plastic mountains. All right, what they asking for? Eighteen dollars for that. I'm look, look, looking at some of the stuff that's the trees. I just wanted to see what their prices are, but of course, thirty-nine dollars for this. Got some G scale tracks right here, but I have all the G scale tracks I need. This is nice. Oh, this this cobblestone brick. This is nice. Whoa. I think it's twenty nine dollars. This is nice. I like this. Hmm. Cobblestone Street. That'll be funky. I might do something like that. Here's some people. What scale is this? This looks like this is H O. So we got some got some bridges entry. Okay. And we got some um. Model cars. Most places are gonna have the model cars. Okay, here's some in scale stuff right here as well. The price. I think it says 319. That's a nice set right there. Okay. Let me see if they have any um tracks that I need. And here's some HO stuff right here. 
this is that's nice the HO scale well you know I have all that I could use some more passenger cars but that's nice all right let's go get my engine so this is fully stocked stores everything I need is right here and then some we got some boats right there it's a full hobby store what is this this is HO I think that's HO scale and we're gonna check out a few little things okay Eight show. Is that in scale? I guess it is. Nice little Christmas display. So we have some that's a nice locomotive. The Leo G scale. Oh let me see if they got the track I need. Okay, I'm looking at some more stuff. Um, I would love to have this Santa Fe. He has some nice stuff here, y'all. Like I was saying, okay, this is what I have. This is mine's right here, the Chessie. Oh, okay, 289. Okay, it's a Lionel. Okay. Oh, I, I need a. CSX, I definitely do. I had the Atlanta Club Coast. I think I was over here already. Now let me come over here, y'all. There's a few things I saw that I like too. These these um buses and the um, this army car is nice. I have the police car, but this army car is real nice. And I think these are uh, nine. Oh, all right, these are, all right. Those are just um displays. There's some planes. Oh, that's cool. Well, what's funny that is that, that engine's got some mileage on it. Yeah, I know. Here's some planes. I'm just saying the one with the Oh, this is cool. A little New York Central. It'll pull that. I don't know how. I would say 10 or 12. Okay. That's cool up there. Oh, this is cool, little Paul Express. Oh, that's nice. We just had one that came in here this morning. Okay. Not that one, the other one. Five for six. Oh, yeah. No, no, no. We had about five cars. Okay. Yeah, you must have picked up. Well, wait a minute. And then we bought an extra. Well, here. Let me set these down. Okay. It's just full. I got a few of those. Here's how many cars are there. Larry asked me about. Got a lot of stuff over here that's cool. Well, you know. All right, I have, I have all that stuff. Some more cars. Okay. This is a lovely store. Hi. Well, and the other thing is, um, and, and these don't, like these aren't track towers, if they have the pickup, like, it's like some cars, like some cars, they have more drag. If they have pickup rollers, the pickup power. Yeah, I mean, we have McCain with it, and I got one. Oh, yeah. Okay. And you're going to want to put these heavier cars front towards the engine. You always load heavy behind the, behind the engine and light towards the tail. So All right. What about a Union uh, Pacific up there? Well, people, I got my Mohawk back. It's been a while. I had it for maybe a year. And all this time, I wasn't able to control it the right way, but now I can. Um, I gave you the information previously on where I took the engine to get repaired, and the price was reasonable. And what I had to have done was, um, I had to have some repair done 
to the engine. Um, this bar right here was broke. So what he did was he improved it on both sides and made it stronger. They didn't have what I needed for this in parts. Um, it wasn't available. So you gotta get the right um, service people who can fabricate and make things work. So big shout out to the people there um, to get my train running. And um, my command base had some problems with it as well. So he fixed that as well. So now, you know, my baby's doing what it's supposed to be doing. I can do the commands that I wanted it to do. And I'm, I'm completely happy with the staff there. And um, it's a nice store. And I'm going to be going back to them again. And it's crazy too, because once you go into these places, it feels good to go in a place and people actually know me. You know, that feels good. It's like being a, a little superstar without being a superstar. You know what I'm saying? Um, the train community is beautiful, man. It's, I have a, I, I, it's a blast being with people. It's fun. I love it. I love it. So, um, I'm a, a few other things I picked up. Before we get this train running, a few other things I want to show y'all. Let's start with my um, train display. What I did was I paint the wall and I put shelves up. You know, new shelves. But what I did was I evenly spaced all the spaces in between so it would be even. Um, I got to do more shelving because I have more trains to put on display and I really don't know where I'm going to put them. I might not do. I don't know. I got my G scale up here and um, but I want pictures up there. You know, I got them here and, you know, stuff I'm working on. But thank God I live by myself so I can kind of do what I feel like doing. And here's something else um, that I um, got. Uh, courtesy of a friend of mine who just gave them to me. Um, this right here, this background, I like this. Of course, I got to do more landscaping. For the whole layout, I have to do that. And he gave me that mill that's in the back. I put lights in it, but um, yeah, it was free. Thanks to my partner. That's my friend. He, he looks out for me on a, on a regular. So I appreciate that. And I'm gonna need, um, I'm gonna redo my shelving for my HO scale. Um, I kinda don't like how it looks. I want it a little bit more organized um, cause I have more trains down here and um, I wanna put them on display. But then again, I could leave them here. But I was thinking about eventually, I'm gonna have, uh, eventually I am gonna do a, a, a end scale and this might be where I put the end scale at. So I don't know, but right now, this is where the rest of these trains is gonna go. So we'll see how that goes, but I'm not liking how this looks. I'm not liking how this looks. Matter of fact, I have to really do more. I haven't been spending enough time with my HO scale. Um, there's some other trains I do wanna get. You know, I have been buying a few things, but um, you know, like I said, this is my first pride and joy. So I have picked up a few things for my HO scale, but um, yeah. So um, let's run some trains.